Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you Tug of War. And Tug of War is a skill-based casino minigame and I'm really looking forward to present it to you. But before I do that, I will try it once <laughs> and let's see if it helps. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like at the like button. And also, if you like what I do and want to see more of my videos, make sure to be subscribed to RT's World. And let's dive directly into the video. Of course, this one is again suggested by a viewer and his name is Mr. Z. And he basically said, cool concept. I like how you use two people's comments for one build. For your next build, could you consider building a half luck, half skill mini game or half luck, half skill casino? And that's exactly what I did here in the background. As we can see here very well, we have here a horizontal bar with 15 lamps. And those 15 lamps represent our rope that we can basically look who's better, either we as a player or the casino, the machine. And either we fill all the lamps and the machine wins or we turn off all the lamps and we win. So that's how the tug of war works. As we saw in the preview, it goes from left to right and so on. But at some point, either the machine wins or you wins. And this one is completely customizable as well. So you can change all the odds, how good the machine is, uh, how good the prices are and so on. For example, you could have various difficulties of this tug of war game, like an easy one where the machine is really bad, but the rewards are really bad too. And maybe you could have a very hardcore uh, tug of war machine that nails it maybe every time or so or nearly every time and uh, have very nice prizes as well, of course. But uh, of, I will explain that to you later. So let's try it one more time. But I want to also show you that it's not that huge. So it's really nice to build. It's very compact. I tried to compact it down as much as possible. And we will start it now again with one diamond block. As we can see, we fill now seven of those lamps and we have to basically remove all of them. So let's go. Now we're at eight. Let's play it one more time. So as we can see here, now I erased one lamp or turned it off. There's one. Oh, yeah, that was not that bad. Oh, I'm so bad at shooting stuff and it it's not that possible to shoot two in one round. Let's see. Can we win that? Nice, not too bad. Yep, did it. Come on, come on machine, give me some more. That should have worked. Let's go. Oh, it was a really bad shot. Of course you have to be in a certain range of this target block. And it doesn't work if you just hit it. You have to aim really carefully to really make sure you hit it. And of course this is also highly customizable. So you, could de you can define the signal strength necessary produced by the target block to get you a win. So not every shot is the same and you could also make certain targets more difficult or not. So it's 100% it's customizable, but I will get into that afterwards. Yeah, come on, can I do it? Three lamps left. Oh man, the machine is so good. Yeah, we downed one lamp and now I did it. Perfect. So now I got two of those diamond blocks. Very sweet. Nice win. And it only took me like an <laughs> half a century to do that. No, but just kidding. Uh, it was really hard, but that's how the game should work. And of course, you can make the AI or the machine basically even harder. But I will now show you how it works. So first of all, we just as all of my machines, we work with an item filter that filters out the currency item, which is in my case diamond blocks. If we do so, we transfer this wooden axe to the left and we activate this comparator. And this comparator then activates this gray circuit. And the gray circuit is just responsible, as you saw in the beginning. It just gives you seven lamps to start with. So it will two, four, six, seven. It will bring the signal strength right up to this lamp. So you have a slight edge over the machine. I could do eight, but 15 is an odd number and seven is much more uh, player friendly. So it's like um, beneath half the maximum value. And we can get to this to seven lamps by putting in here six gray wool. So if I would, for example, put in here one more item, we would have eight, nine, ten lamps as starting value. You could 
used difficulty basically depending on how many items you put in there. If you put in here like 14, the machine would win instantly. You you cannot do anything, it would win instantly. Or you can do 13 and then you have to basically erase all the lamps except one or so. But nobody would do that of course, so um, <laughs> it would be way too hard. But then after this initial step is done and the preparation work basically is over, we also lighted this uh, torch here since um, we can then activate our main clock, which is this one here. That's just the starting clock that gives us the seven lamps. Our main clock is set to, what is it? Uh, six times four to 24 ticks delay between each of the pulses and the pulses will then go into this gray circuit and also into the orange circuit. And it doesn't matter what the circuits do for now, but the really important stuff is that the orange circuit is for the AI and the AI or the machine is basically um, set to 50%. So in 50% of the cases, it will get one lamp more. And if it fills all the lamps, we lose. And we as a player get a 50% chance for each of the four lamps to light each round. So it could be that no lamp is lit, but that would be like four times 50% chance, so really low. Um, but usually there's at least one lamp that we can shoot. And what I want to explain further or really in detail is now the brain of this machine. That is this signal adder and subtractor. The signal strength adder and subtractor works exactly how it's named after. So with the red circuit, of course, red is the side of the machine. We add one lamp. So if I, for example, uh, where do I have like a redstone? Um, if I, for example, put in here a redstone um, block, we can see we add to the machine signal strength. So do it again. We have now two lamps, but we have also a subtraction mode. The subtraction mode is here, the green one, since green is the player side. And if I, for example, light the green one, and I can do that conveniently from here. Um, if I light the green one, we can see we subtract lamps. And that's basically the tug of war mechanism behind this machine. And before you ask, this version should work in all, uh, this version, this casino should work in all versions of Minecraft, Bedrock, Java, doesn't matter. You can build it on any server or uh, single player world. It should work in any case. So let's subtract the last lamp as well. So we don't have, yeah, of course now I won. <laughs> should bring us to 33 diamond blocks, great. And uh, what I want to now explain further is this mechanism adds over this comparator the signal strength. We have here the 15 uh, redstone with the lamps right here. And if we basically turn off all the lamps, this torch will be on and it will transfer the signal right to our winning dropper, which is this one here. But if the machine is not on, of course, um, we do not have the piston here that allows the signal to get through. But if the machine would be on, this piston would be extended and we are able to win. Now we're not able to win. And same goes for the other side. If the machine lights all the lamps, it turns off this and it triggers automatically a reset. We don't need to take care of the winning dropper since we don't win anything if we lose. So the magenta circuit is just for resetting all the machines. For example, here we have the reset for our uh, six light gray wools. That's just an observer clock that puts all the items back into the original dropper. But uh, what I want to really explain further is now this um, machine 50% uh, or gate. So we have either the X or the lime concrete transferred into this hopper, therefore powering the comparator. And we have either the left or the right side. And depending on which, which side we get, we light either the top or the bottom lamp. As we can see here, top lamp is for machine gets one, bottom lamp is machine gets nothing. So usually as a player, we want the bottom lamp to be on as often as possible. And to increase the difficulty, we can just do that. That would be a 66% chance for the machine to win. That would be 75, that would be 80 and so on. But let's don't uh, make it that hard for us. It's uh, even hard at 50% if you're not very trained. But of course you can adjust the prices if you do a very difficult um, tug of war machine. And for the gray circuits for hours, as we can see, for example, um, let's activate it by removing the torch. Now we can see here in the front, we have the most outer ones activated. And that's completely random with a 50% chance for all of those four slots we can shoot. And it just depends which item gets moved into the hopper. Here we have the wool, only signal strength one, doesn't activate it, signal strength two, 
for this X does activate everything. And it just activates a piston that pushes here up. And if we shoot, for example, now um, this target block, we can see we power that uh, repeater here. We power it, but it doesn't get through the signal because the sand is not uh, on top. But for here, for this one, if we shoot it, we can see we can power it. And we can then also, of course, now I won since I subtracted all the lamps. I had nothing in there. <laughs> it uh, worked very well. And also a very nice feature is that this machine is, because we have this sand here and it interrupts the signal, it's completely foolproof. So you can only um, shoot the targets that are available with a lamp. If you shoot other ones, it doesn't really matter. Nothing will happen. And each round is different since it's a complete random se random system. And you could also, in worst case scenario, have no lamps per round. So if you have a 50% chance uh, four times and you get the bad outcome, you have no lamps to shoot. And just a very nice side note, we have here also a lamp with an observer tower. So as we hit the first target, we transfer the X from left to right and therefore closing this... Um, this uh, piston here and closing the circuit that enables us to win anything or the diamond blocks and that's why this machine is also very nice to casino owners since it cannot be basically tricked you have to start it you have to shoot at least one lamp and then you're only able to win anything with this uh, machine and the last circuit i want to explain is the reset circuit so the magenta one is just responsible if we lose it is directly powered but if we win after we won uh, it we trigger this uh, redstone, we trigger our observer twice, and then we reset everything with this line as well. So they meet up here. We reset, uh, as I explained already, this uh, droppers there with the six items in, and we also reset our starting dropper, also this one here that enabled us to win in the first place. And also here we power this very long pulse extender that resets all the lamps. Even if, if the machine won and we have worst case scenario, we have all the lamps set to on, we have to reset them with a very long redstone pulse with this contraption here. And I think that's everything done for the explanatory part. Um, for the customization, if you want to increase the difficulty, so now you have to get at least a signal strength for the target block of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out of 15. So you have to be in the better two-thirds of the pixels of this block here. But if you, for example, want to increase the difficulty and, uh, for example, remove the repeater and place a redstone, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We would have eight signal strength until we reach the repeater. So it would allow us, or as a, as a casino owner, to set a difficulty on which uh, rings you have to shoot. And eight would be, since 15 is the maximum strength, if we hit the bullseye, eight would be more than half of this block's radius would be cut in half or the radius would be more than cut in half. So like we have to be in this small red circle to even be able to win. So that would increase the difficulty very much. And I will show you how it works one more time with increased difficulty. Also maybe set the machine to like 75% uh, win rate and now it will completely destroy us, I guess. <laughs> Let's look at it. That will be super hard for me. Yeah, we didn't win. It was too bad of a shot. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, so let's go on. Ah, too bad. Yeah, the machine is already very far ahead in the tug of war. Yeah, I get it. I got it. Yeah, just let the machine win, but you get it. It's it's super hard to, to aim that nice. And you could even increase it more by just lengthening to like signal strength 10 or so. And it would be super hard. If I miss even once, it could be like the death for me. But now let's let it win and see what it does. So one more lamp for the machine. But I think it's doable at this difficulty, but it's 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 super hard. So now it just resets, nothing will happen. It will clear all the signal strength out of the system and it is done. And for the sake of this tutorial, I just removed both of those axes. Otherwise, uh, people will be confused if they download the world with this 50% uh, and <laughs> there's no 50% dropper in there. But with that said, um, thanks for, the, for watching of this exploratory part. And now I will see you in the block by block tutorial where we build this together block by block.
Welcome to the block by block tutorial. So we first want to start with a 23 by 11 platform and don't be scared. I just pre-built here some stuff, but I uh, will go over it and you can pause at any point. So 23 in that direction, 11 that one. The 12th block would be the wall here, not the frame of diamond blocks, but the wall is the 12th block. Uh, to the wall it's 11 and we also have here a dropper with some diamond blocks in there in the floor. And we have also here the signs, all the, um, the diamond blocks here. We have here different ter terracottas and also some concrete colors. We have here the machine plus one and nothing. Lamps and also this nice horizontal tug of war bar. But now you can pause maybe. Also look at the floor how it looks like. That's how sh you should build it. So let's go directly behind this machine and we will start with some redstoney stuff. So let's go here with the blue circuit at first, start with that shape. Then we need a comparator, a repeater, a comparator, two pieces of redstone and a redstone torch. And here in the first hopper we need um, 18 secretly named items in the second slot, then three normal items. And then here would be our currency and the third block should already be in our profit chest. Perfect. Uh, then we're gonna need a sticky piston, right like so. And we cover this hole with a diamond block as so. So then we're gonna need some droppers facing into each other. Here we're gonna need a wooden X inside. And we also need some magenta wool for the reset circuit. Here we're gonna have a comparator like this and then we will have here a torch block torch block and blocks leading to this piston here like so perfect um, next up we wanna have here this kind of shape and here we're gonna have uh, with gray wool a comparator and here we're gonna have with uh, normal wool with the blue one a comparator gonna add one more space between like so and then we need this uh, 24 tick clock that looks like this like that and we also gonna need a sticky piston facing downwards here and we also gonna need a sticky piston facing downwards right here and then let's do this then we need here a repeater set to four to one tick here set to two ticks and here we're gonna need some redstone and i'm really sorry they're both set to one tick and from here on we just want to power a dropper leading into another dropper leading into a magenta wool like so and here in the first one we're gonna place in one two three four five six items that's just to light seven lamps here we have a comparator and here we're gonna block up all the way um, i think we should do it like this since we have also another contraption coming in there just do it like that and we also yeah that should be fine and we also now gonna need here a torch redstone torch and it should be configured like that so what it now does it gives us the ability to exactly draw seven pulses right here and from here on we will then wire up to our signal strength counter which we will build in a second so let's get some lime wool and cover here every lamp with wool behind 15 lamps are those in total and now we have two redstone torches, one here, one right there. And we will take care of them later. Now we want to focus on the comparators. We're going to start with block one, two, block one, two, block. And we also going to have here a comparator, a comparator, a comparator in between some redstone dust. And now I will switch to green wool like so. And we're going to start right here yeah let's do that also with a green wool to don't be, to be confused we need here a redstone then we block up like this we here we need also some redstone then we're gonna go right 
down like so. We need here a comparator set to subtraction mode. We're gonna need here a comparator set to subtraction mode. We can remove that block here. Then we're gonna go up and down at the same time and across. We're gonna add here a redstone, there a redstone. We're gonna reset here a redstone torch, here a comparator. Also set to subtraction mode. Then we have here two pieces of wool with some uh, dust on top. We have here a comparator set to subtraction mode. We have here the first input. And now we need the second input, which is the input that subtracts everything. And for this we will set here a block, here a comparator, here a piece of redstone. Here we're gonna have a redstone torch. And here behind this comparator we will have a chest. Oh, come on, let's grab this one here. We'll have a chest and we put one single item in there. So that's our reset circuit. We need here two ticks, sticky piston, another two ticks and redstone dust. Same goes for the bottom side. Redstone dust, two ticks, two ticks, piston and sticky and sticky piston and a block. So for example, if I now set the um, here, we should get signal strength fifth. Now we have signal strength one. Again, signal strength two, signal strength three, and so on, as we can see here. But if we do the bottom, we have here one. Now we should have only two. One, perfect, and zero. So now we're basically reset everything. That's our main machine done. Next up, we want to connect the gray circuit. So we'll go right here, two ticks, another redstone. So then we just block down here. Like so, we're gonna need here a repeater and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, that's fine. That's the first uh, part taken care of. Now I want to build the 50% randomizer for our um, basically house or the machine. So we feel the comparator, then we're gonna have here a dropper, a hopper and a composter. And we set it to 50-50 for the sake of this tutorial, just place in a non-stackable and a stackable item. And from here on, we just go like one, two. Here we're gonna have a single tick. Then we're gonna have here the piston, here redstone, then two ticks on the other side. And then we just extend this bridge right to the front like this. And then we're just gonna go this zigzag so we can now, if we have signal strength one, we will lose and we'll power the bottom lamp. But if we win with signal strength two, therefore triggering that circuit and we will power the top lamp. And we will also in addition power this um, note block with a pumpkin beneath. So we have this nice losing sound. And we also want to have here a note block as well. So now let's focus on this um, yellow circuits here. And for the yellow ones, we just need to grab the output here from the target block, like so. So if target block, then we have one, one block up and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that will be the hard version. So we do the same over here, like so. And then we're gonna grab ourselves a redstone repeater. We're gonna turn it around like this. Do it like that. Here we're gonna have a repeater and a green block. We cut off everything now. And here we also... want to add another repeater and here will be the hole where our simple or it doesn't matter if it's a sticky piston or not sticky piston. We just need something that can push like this and we're also gonna need some sand, two blocks here. Same goes for the other side. So again, we have here the repeater. Then we're gonna have this green block right here. We have here a repeater. We have a redstone dust. We have here a repeater. We have redstone dust like this. 
and here repeater and now just prevent everything from connecting like so and again we will need a sticky piston here with two blocks of sand and now we want to get to the gray circuit so for the gray one we just need to power those two um, redstone lamps in front of us and we're just gonna block down now and here for this side we will block down like this so we don't interfere with this redstone circuit over there keep it to one tick here we also gonna block down like this and now we want to have here a repeater there a repeater and we also want to have here two pieces of um, redstone we doesn't matter which color of glass it is just some glass and here we also gonna have a redstone dust on top then we have here three blocks with two comparators and uh, those redstone dust then we have droppers we have hoppers and we have composters and there we put in just one non-stackable and one stackable item and then we can already place in here some redstone torches and as we can see here now we have here those two lamps lit and everything is fine let's go down there and just place in here some repeaters and some redstone dust so now we build this module we build on the right mirrored on the left so now with everything mirrored be really sure to mirror it and not just copy it over and yeah we have all the circuits now here for the gray one done so let's just connect this up put a torch in the middle that should deactivate everything again and then we just block up like so next we want to add in here the blue circuit and for the blue one we just extend this line here by eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight that one was too much and now we need some orange wool to block up right here like so and do it like that so we have here then just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's enough so that would also be sufficient that will trigger our uh, basically machine and we will also trigger simultaneously our player based target blocks and now i just want to add in the winning circuit which will be a green one so let's go right here like this so we have here three tick uh, repeater then we're gonna go like that i think that's right is it we go down here like so like so yeah it was nearly right like this here we're gonna have a repeater and here we're gonna have a redstone line here we're gonna have this nice piston and we can also move that forward one block very sorry for that like that so now we will have here a comparator we would have here two droppers facing into each other left one equipped with an item doesn't matter which one then we're gonna have here magenta wool and here we're gonna have ourselves now we need to yeah we just need to funnel those in and then we can have ourselves the tower make sure to place here some redstone on top and also green circuit right here and we want to end it up right over there so let's count we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that should be nothing and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen fourteen that should be fine i will test it out oh and it's also the wrong direction that repeater is facing um I will test it out let's see if it works let's just power that one here does it work yes it does it will remove one lamp but of course it did nothing since there's no lamp to remove so we also need a note block right here 
and place some iron blocks beneath like that. Perfect. Um, next up, we want to get, grab ourselves a redstone lamp like this and some observers. Make observer tower like this. Make repeater set to two ticks. And of course, I made one mistake here. The reset circuit is of course on this side and not on the other one. <laughs> so for the reset circuit, we just combine now everything with those purple lines. Like this, so we have here uh, one repeater. So then we're gonna go right like this. And here uh, we can also move it right there to save a little bit of space. Here an observer, there an observer and also a sticky piston like this. And then we just gonna make observer, ah sorry, comparator, comparator, like that. Here a uh, repeater set to four ticks and here's some nice redstone and here repeater set to one tick. Just place in here some redstone. Now we want to grab this side where we lose. So just some redstone and we can take the other like that. Just set it to four ticks. So if this lamp is off for any reason, so if, if all lamps are on, we lose automatically. And now we also want to add in the circuit when we win. We'll also need to reset it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's place there some repeaters since we need to place here another one as well, like this. And the last thing we want to reset is if all the lamps are on, we need to reset here this one as well. But here we could run into an issue with this um, tower, so we'll go the other way around, like so. And then we don't need that, so let's place it right here. Don't need that block, don't need that block, don't need that block, we can remove the supporting blocks if we want to. So how far can we go like this? Perfect. So here we need um, redstone dust, repeater, redstone dust, repeater, repeater, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, and a block. Then we're gonna go with comparator, 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 and comparators in the other direction. Everywhere, just some nice redstone four tick repeater and then we just gonna connect everything up with another repeater right here like that and now we're done so let's test it out we need to insert one diamond block then we should get seven five six seven perfect and then we should get yeah let's shoot it oh i'm so slow now i removed one lamp Oh, now the machine won. Does the machine winning work as well? Let's see if the machine winning works first. Yeah. Our subtraction does work, as we can see. Yes, the machine winning does work. That was too slow, I guess. Yeah, subtraction works for this slot as well. Maybe just test all the slots. Did work, so that's the last one remaining, I didn't check. Let's see if it works as well, come on. So, and now we will just be very unfair <laughs> and um, subtract some lamps until we win. So that's a simulated win now. We should get two diamond blocks and everything should reset. Perfect, same goes for the other side. If we insert a diamond block and we get to signal strength like 15, the casino should win. And we do that by simulating just removing the torch, putting it back and it should reset itself. Perfect. So everything is working. And with that said, <laughs> 
thanks for watching. If you made any mistake during the block by block tutorial, make sure to download the world. There's a world download link in the video description. If you like this video again, make sure to like and subscribe to Ardy's World. I really enjoy all the comments I read and also all your nice support and also the nice suggestions. So keep up the great comments and I will keep up the great content. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.